What's up guys, Andy Graydon back again. I have all the dogs with me today. Come and look at these guys. Darwin. <laughs> um, that's my dog Darwin and uh, my ma has a sister and I'm looking after her today as well. And there's another dog out in the hallway as well, just lying on the floor. So anyway, today I, you might have guessed from the title, I'm absolutely fucking shattered. Uh, th I didn't sleep badly last night, I just didn't sleep for long enough, I was working late and th by the time I got to bed it was like half one and I was up at like seven, uh, about half seven this morning, so just not enough sleep, so I'm absolutely fucking shattered and I don't know about you, but when, when I'm tired, it's when everything tends to fall apart, it's when everything tends to go to shit. Um, like for, for instance, I've literally just got home there and I went straight to Tesco on the way home and went and got uh, a two pack of cinnamon swirls. Name me a better pastry than cinnamon swirls, by the way. Also went and got like a McDonald's cola as well. Because you just, you see when you're tired, you need that like kind of, that sugar, that sugar boost or that energy boost or a wee bit of caffeine or anything like that. And and for me, that's the that's the biggest heart. It's very it's very difficult for me to stay compliant or to to kind of stay on track with eating any sort of good food when I'm tired, because I'm just like oh, I'm tired. I just need some sugar. I need something. Right. This probably sounds familiar to you, right? When you when you're tired, when you a lot of people hit that kind of midday slump about maybe two p.m. just after lunch and like oh, I just need a wee bit of sugar to you know push me through the rest of the day, right? And, and this is where people underestimate the importance of sleep and weight loss, right? You think about weight loss and everyone's like, calories in, calories out, and all this stuff, right? But nobody thinks about the practicalities of it. Like, when, when, it, comes to, when it comes to sleeping well, if we're not sleeping well, we're probably going to eat shit. Because we feel shit, right? If we're not sleeping well, one, we're going to feel shit, and because we're feeling shit, we're going we're gonna to eat shit to give us that boost or, or to make us feel better, right? So... If we want to be, if we want to get shit, <laughs> the dogs are making some weird noises in the background, I'm sorry if you can hear that. So if we want to get in shape, right, we want to lose weight, we want to tone up, do whatever, right? Then we need to ensure that we're in a calorie deficit, which I speak about a lot of the time on here in these videos and in my emails. But if we want to make sure that we're hitting that calorie deficit, we need to make sure that we're feeling good. If we're tired, it's going to be very difficult for us to hit our, uh, make sure we're in a calorie deficit, right? Because we're going to struggle to work out, and when we do, if we do even go and work out, right? Most of the time, when I'm tired, I'll just skip my workout and go for a nap instead. To be honest with you, but if we're tired, our, our output in the workouts could be really bad. Like it's not going to be a very good workout, and then we're increasing our chances of just eating junk food. So my advice to you is make sure you're getting not just a decent amount of sleep, but a good sleep as well. Everybody always talks about eight hours a night and all this kind of stuff, but. Nobody actually talks about the quality of the sleep. The quality of your sleep is just as important as the, the length of your sleep, right? So, my, my number one thing is get off your fucking phone like about half an hour before bed. Because social media excites our brain, right? If we're sitting there with the, with the harsh light on our phone, sitting there scrolling through Twitter or scrolling through Instagram, it excites our brain. So you can't expect to be sitting there on your phone and then instantly turn your phone off, put it down and be able to fall asleep straight away. Same goes for TV. If we're watching TV right before we go to bed, we can't expect to just get straight into bed and then go to sleep, especially if we're watching something like, I don't know, like a scary movie or an action movie or something like that, just getting our adrenaline going. So you wanna kind of wind down in the last half hour of the day, right? You wanna shut the TV off, you wanna turn your phone off and put it on sleep mode or whatever you do, and then you wanna get into bed and I don't know, read a book or just chill out or whatever it is you wanna do. I've started reading a book just just for about 15 minutes before I go to bed, just so I can kind of chill out, I can wind down into the, e in, uh, into the evening and uh, in at bedtime, and I can just get, it just increases my, my sleep so much better. And I'll wake up in the morning feeling refreshed, and when I feel refreshed, it's, it's easy for me to eat well, it's easy for me to make sure that I'm hitting, out my, hitting my workout as well, and getting a good output, getting a good workout in. So, don't underestimate the importance of not just getting enough sleep, somewhere between six and eight hours, but also getting a good quality sleep. So making sure, number one, you're getting to bed, you know, early enough. Number two, making sure you're kind of switching off the TV, you're switching off your phone or putting it on sleep mode or whatever you need to do and getting off social media and just chilling out, winding down. 
end of the day. Final point on this is just make sure you're not fucking having caffeine straight before bed as well. Caffeine's got half life. I think it's about four hours, five hours. So if you have a caffeine at like if you have a caffeine, if you have a coffee at like six p.m., it's still going to be in your system when you when you try and sleep, which is obviously then going to keep you awake as well. So guys, if you're if you're somebody who finds you're like me and when you're tired you just eat fucking everything, especially cinnamon swirls because they're so weird, then. Maybe we need, a, we need a look at what's going on there. We need to look, all right, maybe I'm not getting enough sleep and, and start analyzing, start seeing what's going on. I'm not getting enough sleep because I'm sitting up watching fucking Love Island every night, too late or whatever. Um, so I need to get to bed a little bit earlier. I need to turn my fucking phone off and I need to make sure I'm getting a good quality sleep. And the difference you'll notice when you sleep well is not just in the way you can stick to your diet and the way you can stick to working out, but also how you feel, just feeling good, right? Which is what we all want, we all just want to feel good, right? So, that's it guys. Um, sleep's one of the things that we work on. Sleep and, and calorie deficits and all this stuff is something that we work on in my 30 day Bulletproof Challenge, which kicks off on Monday, so you need to be registered by Sunday. I will stick the link to the information for the Bulletproof Challenge in the comments below, and you can check it out. Guys, have an amazing day. Speak to you later.